Hey everyone, this video is going to show you how to use our posture PT exerciser to perform resisted shoulder diagonals. This is a really good one to add into the home routine, especially to build some more strength and support around the shoulder complex, especially multiple muscles that are attached to our scapula or shoulder blades. So all you need is your posture PT exerciser, good open space. You can do this in either standing or sitting, whatever feels most comfortable for you. So I'll start with my hands at the center of the band and then open up a little bit just so I can get about a moderate amount of resistance. If I feel like I need more resistance, then I can always close that gap. And if I'm feeling like I need a little less tension, open the hands further away from each other. Okay. So holding onto the band, start with the arms forward at about shoulder height, 90 degree level. Thumbs are going to be in an upward position towards the ceiling with my palms facing each other. Now from here is where the diagonal comes in. We're going to turn the arms so that one is on an upward diagonal and the other is on a downward diagonal. And then from here, all I do is squeeze my shoulder blades together and pull back. That's it. That's the diagonal. We're going to do about 10 repetitions and then we'll go ahead and switch over to the other diagonal. So let's pretend we did 10. Come back to our center position where we started. Switch diagonal, so now the other arm is up and the opposite is down, and pull back. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades down and in with this. Keep a good upright posture, avoid any shoulder hiking. Again, about 10 reps with each diagonal for two sets. And just so you can get a little side view here, one thing I want you to make sure not to do with this is don't open so far that you force the arms into a position that's going to put too much stress and strain on the front of the shoulder here, plus cause hyperextension in the back. You can open the arms as far as equal distance with the shoulder here, but just don't go any further. There's really no point to doing that. Plus, again, it's gonna cause more strain on the shoulder in the front if you do that repetitively over time. So just keep everything within a range that feels comfortable for you, pain-free as always. And like I said, this is a good one just to add into that home routine.